These are the three shots that you need in your golf game. We're not talking about changing your swing. We're not talking about rewriting your blueprint. These are three shots that help you hit lower scores, get you out of trouble, and really keep that scorecard going. So make sure you listen to every single one of them because this could be the moment and the eureka moment that really helps you improve your golf game. Obviously guys, any point, if you are enjoying this video, please do hit that thumbs up button. I really would appreciate it. So number one in our list, getting out from underneath one of these. Painful, I hate them, I'm always under them. So I've become very good at getting out of them. So these are the steps I want you to go for. We're gonna be looking towards the lower lofted end of your bag, so you potentially your six iron, your five iron, and if you do, carry a four iron, a four iron. So I've gone for my four iron here. I'm wanting to do it in this order. Narrow stance, weight left, pull the left foot back, and then I want you to feel like you're gripping down with your hands ahead of the golf ball. Putting that ball back in our stance will help us put that those hands ahead of the ball as well, so really taking loft off. And then all I want you to feel is, when you're hitting this shot, picture the same speed you put into a pitch shot. It wouldn't be hit too hard, it would be a nice acceleration into the golf ball. Keeping that weight left will help us get out of that trouble. So I walk into the shot, I always try and look for the exit which can get me most up the fairway, but where I've got the biggest area to go through, so the highest point of this canopy, to really give me the biggest margin of error. So I'm going to address that golf ball in this order. Grip down towards the lambkin, making sure I've got the ball back in my stance, take a narrow stance, pull my left foot back, put my weight left, swing back and through with that pitching swing with the weight staying left. And that's going to help you get that ball punching out from underneath these trees, advancing down the fairway and really keep your score going. Let's move on to number two. It again involves one of these blooming things. This is the one where we walk up to it and go, oh, we've got away with it, we've got a clear shot to the green, let's get through it out. But this is where we can get into a lot of trouble, overhanging branches that really impede our backswing and our downswing. Now, this is the important note on one of these. If we actually hit this branch on our swing and we continue to hit the golf ball, there is no penalty. If we take a waggle, hit the branch and then stop, the branch falls off or a leaf falls off, it is a penalty stroke. We are impeded on that. So we need to make sure we're getting this right. So a lot of golfers will get in this situation and think, you know what, it's clear in front of me, I can muscle a hybrid out, I can muscle a long iron out. Thick rough, we get tangled up up here. We really reduce our speed into the ball. Reduced speed into the ball and thick rough with not a lot of loft is a recipe for disaster. The ball may even just go in front of us or we could even whiff the ball. So I'd be looking here towards the higher end of my bag in terms of loft. I'd be thinking seven iron, eight iron, nine iron pitching wedge. I'm really trying to advance it as down there as much as I can with quite a lot of loft. I'm not gonna worry about something in front of me because it's all behind me. So this is how I go about it. I want you to feel as though we're gonna grip with our right hand slightly on that steel. So have a look at that there. Slightly on that steel and then gripping it. I always make, want to make sure that my top hand is fully on the gripped area. Think about it, we need to make sure we've got a good solid hold because if it does get clattered on there, this can really move very easily. So we need one hand with a lot of support. So right hand slightly on, left hand on the uh, grip. And I want you to make some swings, being very careful. I'll always look back, making sure I'm not gonna hit the branch because if you do hit the branch when you do that, you will cause yourself a penalty stroke. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, so I can hit the branch, as long as nothing falls off, I'll be fine. So I've checked it a few times. So by lowering, or by shortening the lever, it means not a lot of this club's gonna get hung up and hit. But if it does, I've got a lot of loft here, or a bit more loft than I would potentially usually take to cut through that grass and get that ball going forward. So rule in this situation is, one hand on the get your grip, one hand on the steel, use a more lofted club, just get that ball advancing down that fairway. Check it. Make sure you're going to be near it, you know you're near it, but don't make sure you don't hit anything off in your practice stroke. Hit it, trust it, and once you go, you've got to go. And just advance one down that fairway, and you'll be surprised how far you can get it going with a lofted club. 
Don't think about this, don't get too greedy. Let's move on to the final one, this is key. The final piece of this puzzle affects every single shot that you take. How often do you hear, take each shot at a time? How often do you hear, don't let that other shot bother you? Well, we all know it does. I've been there, you've been there. We all know those shots do affect you. So what I want you to do is grab your card, separate your card up into sets of three. Put a line under each set. So you're thinking that you've got three sets of three on the front nine, three sets of three on the back nine. And I want you to think every time you cross that line, and I mean this line here, you reset. No matter if it's a good hole, no matter if it's a bad hole, you reset. That's gonna help you play your best shots out on the golf course, not let anything else worry you, and go, right, okay, right, I've had three three-pointers, reset, don't get too ahead of myself thinking I'm in a good situation, I'm gonna have a good round. And on the flip side of that coin, don't go, oh God, I've had three bad holes here. That's really bad, I've given up now. Reset, no matter if it's good or it's bad. That's gonna help you play your best shots out on the golf course. I'd be stood here now, I'm on to the 18th, I've just completed that other set here before. I'm thinking, right, I've got a good score in my hand, but it doesn't matter. All I'm thinking about is what happened in the last two holes, not the previous 17. So I've got a four iron into here, let's not get too greedy, let's keep my head clear. I've got a clear shot to the green. Feeling this away, keeping it smooth, don't not get ahead of myself. That's really gonna help me perform my best out on the golf course. That is exactly what I do, and I want you to do as well. So there you have it. Three shots and three tips that are gonna help you lower your scores without changing a single thing. I really hope you enjoyed that. Number one, punch shots under the trees. Number two, when you've got overhanging canopies above you, gotta make sure we're clear on how we do that. And number three, separating the round up into six sets of three. It's really gonna help you improve your golf. Did enjoy this content guys, please do hit that thumbs up button and subscribe, join this team. And if there's anything that you're showing within your game, please do share it with me. I create this content for you, so I wanna know exactly what you're struggling with.